G'day folks. Now, in this video I'm going to be talking about the red-headed mouse spider, Michelina ocatoria, from here in the Riverlands in South Australia. Two or three days ago it rained here quite significantly and the first good rains we've had in quite some time, um, which brought out these spiders. Uh, and what happens with this with these spiders and, with, and what happens typically with most megalomorphs is that the males, um, once they reach adulthood, leave the burrow and go off and search for, for the female. And this is exactly the, the case with Michelina ocatoria. Um, and usually though, this, this particular species is, um, the, the males are diurnally active, so most of these spiders come out at night and, uh, and they look for females at night time. But uh, Michelina ocatoria is a, um, a diurnal diurnally active male which is extremely odd and that's probably the reason why it has these bright colors this bright red thorax and um, and blue abdomen it's a sort of like a warning because they have a very nasty bite quite a venomous um, spider so yesterday i accidentally came across two together and uh, i was very surprised because uh, i've never seen two together before and they were stationary which was a bit of a bonus because i thought oh, wow you know normally they're motoring along at high speed and, and, and photographing them is very very difficult so i went and grabbed my camera um, set up took some photographs of them and when i looked at the photographs i realized that because mm -mm. at first i thought there was some sort of male male interaction thing going on um, but then um, on inspecting the photographs I realized that they're actually at a burrow entrance, a female burrow entrance. So I thought, oh, wow, so these guys have been attracted to this female burrow, in, burrow which was slightly propped open. It wasn't, it wasn't closed and I, I touched it with a stick and it didn't spring back closed. Normally they would spring closed, but this was actually a little bit sort of held open. I, I couldn't see how. So I thought, um, I would set up a, a time lapse because I'd, no, I'd noticed uh, a little bit later there were three males there and also I noticed another male about 20 meters away so quite clearly the males were being attracted to this um, to this female's burrow so throughout the day I saw I went back and there was instead of being three there were two and then I went back a bit later with one and oh, maybe they're going inside the burrow maybe she's eating them because you know it's a, female mouse spiders are quite a quite a robust nasty looking piece of work and um, I thought it would make a bit of sense if she was eating them it'd be good it'd be nutrient for her food for her and also mating first so she'd be uh, getting fertilized and uh, and also um, being able to feed but whether that's true or not I don't know and um, so I thought well I'll, I'll, I'll set up a time lapse and see if I can see what might be going on with the males and I did that today um, and last night also when I checked, well yesterday afternoon I should say that the um, she had sealed the burrow up, it was, it was completely closed and, and when I tried to open it was spring back down, which is a normal situation. And last night about 11 o'clock I checked and it was still closed. But this morning it was open again and two more males there. Oh, this is about 9 o'clock or so. And um, anyway, so... And then I'll check a little bit later and there are three males. So I thought, okay, set my camera up. I put my camera on the ground on top of, on, on top of a, a, little, um, a little cushion um, to support it because I thought I'd do a time lapse for three hours. I set the camera up to take one shot every 20 seconds for the period of three hours which turned out to be a nine second video because I forgot that the camera was set to 60 frames a second which is how it produced the video so I've altered it in video editing software and now it runs for three minutes so what that means is that one second of the video that you watch is representative of 60 seconds in real time so I'll just move my cam image out of the way here and start this video so we initially when I first started it there was a male in the burrow as you can see and he's pushed the lid up and yeah, this is about six seconds that's about six minutes worth it is in this vertical position so possibly he was mating before this other male decided to have a go which made the male in the burrow turn around 
Then another male comes along. Oh, what about me? Can I get in there? And um, so this dominant male in the burrow is really trying to keep these others out. He's, he was a little bit more aggressive than um, I thought they had been. They don't show much aggression towards each other, but you can see there he's, he's coming out with his fangs spread wide saying, stay away, this is my female. But of course this is happening very slowly, it just looks quick here, but it's actually quite a long, slow process. And he dives back in. You can see the way the lid remains open. He's gone, he came out, he's gone back in again, and he's come out, the female's probably saying, no, no, I'm not quite that keen. It's interesting the way he holds the door open with his, with his legs. And the lid is, is being held open with his legs, maybe so I can make a rapid exit. <laughs> and um, the male in the foreground here, he sort of decided that he wasn't going to get anywhere. He had another go there, and so did the one in the background. But, but the foreground one went and crawled underneath my camera pillow and um, dug himself a little, a little recess and started webbing it up, which I thought was interesting. So in, he's into the burrow, he's, he's come back out again. You can notice they have very, very long peony pals because the, the, the female is quite a robust, nasty piece of work with massive fangs. So this male would need to be very, very careful. And I checked again this afternoon and um, the burrow once again is sealed up. So she's done the same thing that she did yesterday after about midday or so. She seals the burrow back up and it remains that way. So as to whether the males remain, a male remains in there overnight, I just don't know. Quite fascinating. It was quite overcast, sun was in and out, and it was very windy. You can see a lot of the vegetation is moving around. I can well imagine that most of these females will be tucked away under bushes. There's a lot of blue bush and salt bush on my block and that's where they would be. This just happens to be in an open area, so that's probably why it's quite conspicuous. Hmm, interesting. I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you.